My wildflower garden, guys, was struck by disaster. So today what I'm going to do is I am actually going seed shopping for two things. Bloomers that will bloom before um, end of season, before fall. And then I'm also going shopping for some vegetable seeds. But everything that I'm going to buy today, at least as far as I know, <laughs> I'm going to buy seeds because I want to try to direct seed some of this stuff. Unfortunately, one of the reasons that I have so much space to sow is because my wildflower garden, guys, was struck by disaster. We had a huge rain rainstorm in all of my cosmos that had gotten insanely tall and they all fell over all of them and they took everything else with them there's probably like three or four that are still standing upright so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and tear everything out and just start over so we'll see what we're gonna find I'm really excited but I'm also kind of nervous that I'm not gonna be able to find much so let's see what they have <laughs> So the first thing I encountered when I walked into Lowe's was these gorgeous succulents. I'm not a huge succulent person, but I just thought I would go ahead and show them to you guys because I thought they were so cute. And look at that color. I don't know, something about the color really got me. So at Lowe's, they didn't have a huge selection. Um, and at first when I walked up, I was a little disappointed because I thought, I just thought I wasn't going to be able to find anything. But what I realized is, is that as I started flipping through, they actually had more than I thought that they did. Um, and I think that's because they ended up condensing a lot of things that they had a, a bigger display and they condensed it into the smaller ones. So I was able to find some stuff that I'm going to be sewing into the ground. Um, and there was a good amount there. So I would definitely say it's still worth checking out because I ended up finding a lot more than I originally thought when I walked up. And keep in mind too that some of these things, even though... They, you can't plant them for harvest now. You could potentially sow them now for next year, like delphiniums and foxgloves. Some of these things will overwinter and will sprout in the spring. So that would be a really good idea too, if you're willing to wait a little bit longer. Um, but I was looking only for things that I knew were gonna grow in time for fall. So I was able to pick up some zinnias, and you can do sunflowers, you can do nasturtiums, cosmos, calendula, let me see, what else, marigolds. There's a good amount that you can sow in the ground in July, um, but I would keep in mind too, sometimes the seed packets do not tell you that you can sow them in July. So I would definitely do your research, of course, watching videos like this, um, and then I'll also include a couple of videos that really helped me when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to pick up for fall. Um, for fall color and then I would also google it too. I found quite a few articles that really help So yeah, I hope that helps you guys out I was definitely able to find quite a bit here Even though I didn't realize that there was going to be very much because it looked like it there wasn't that much selection So take your time flip through what you guys have available at your garden center and a local garden center is definitely going to be better than a big box store anyways Okay guys, so I just got out of Lowe's and it they had kind of a small selection. I was kind of anticipating that just with a big box store and everything that they weren't going to have as much. But as I kind of flipped through all of the different things that they had, I found quite a bit. So I'm pretty happy with that actually. It wasn't anything that I, like, I didn't come specifically looking for anything except pumpkins and sunflowers. And then I was hoping to get some zinnias as well. So I did find all of those, so that's good. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and head over to Home Depot and see what else I can find there. And then if I can't find anything in Home Depot, I might go to Walmart because we also have a Walmart here. And I know I saw seeds there like not long ago, probably like a month ago. I mean, that's long enough that they could be gone, but I definitely have already found quite a bit at Lowe's. Let's see. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> okay, and I'm here at Home Depot. And before I went in, I just wanted to mention I am in zone 6B and today is July 12th when I'm filling in this I believe and so we have about 90 92 days left before our first hard frost up here um, so that's kind of what I'm looking for is I'm looking at my seed packets and looking for things that mature in less than 90 days so just FYI that's a good idea if, if you're looking to go ahead and plant some more bloomers for the summer and for the fall definitely look at the maturity date to make sure that they're gonna bloom before your first hard frost 
Okay, so now we are at Home Depot, and this is where I definitely wish I had gone here first because they had way more seeds than Lowe's did, which is so strange because normally Lowe's is like my homie and they've got me covered, but for whatever reason, Home Depot came through this time. So as I walk through, I'm just going to point out to you guys what I see that you could pick up for fall, um, even if I didn't necessarily pick it up. It might have been that I picked it up at Home Depot. And then, of course, like I mentioned before, I just have really limited space. Um, but there was definitely a lot available. Like you could have planted some winter squash. Um, any type of like cucumbers you can still, still sow now for a late summer harvest. Um, and then, of course, I'm looking here at sunflowers because that's what I really wanted to pick up. Um, for my summer blooms and like I know one lady I was watching said that you could do watermelon this late as well um, any type of beans so to my knowledge beans are a really quick producer um, so you definitely could sow some beans as well um, just look up the type that you're looking to grow and make sure that they have a harvest time less than your frost date like I mentioned before and earlier in the video I know that some websites said that you could plant cucumber and peppers still, um, but I'm assuming they were meaning like starts, not just, you know, seeds, because I just don't think that they would have enough time to mature. But you could do carrots, um, beets. I think you can do radishes right now as well. So if you guys are looking for some things to put into the ground, you can see that there was a good amount of basil here. You could definitely do that any zinnias, as I mentioned, any foliage plants would be a really good um, thing to sow. So you definitely could do like the kales, the spinaches, the lettuces, all that kind of stuff would be a great idea to sow. If not now, then soon. They had a good amount of flowers that I could have picked up, but they didn't have any in the colors that I was looking for. Let's see, oh, you can also do corn. Lots of corn. I just don't have the space for it. I was really sad that I couldn't pick up that big moon pumpkin because it reminds me so much of like a Cinderella pumpkin. I couldn't find any actual Cinderella pumpkins because that's an actual. But unfortunately it had 120 day harvest so there was just no way. Okay guys, so I finally just got home and my husband and my daughter are napping so I just wanted to go ahead and do this video kind of nonchalantly in the car so I hope you guys don't mind that. But I wanted to show you guys what I was able to snag from Lowe's and Home Depot. I ended up not going to Walmart because I got pretty much everything that I needed from them, which totally worked out. They definitely don't have a huge seed selection. It's not like, it's not like what you would get at a local garden center so I definitely recommend Hello, some random guy walking in the background. <laughs> so anyway, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I got. So first things first, I'm gonna show you what flowers I got. So I'm gonna show you the flowers first. And the reason that I got all these flowers is actually because my wildflower garden was devastated and recently in a rainstorm and all the cosmos flopped over. Everything is pretty much destroyed. It just needs to be pulled out, um, at least the majority of it. So I was going to reseed it anyway, and then I was thinking, wait a second, my best friend, my childhood, like soul sister, she is getting married in October. And I was like, why don't I go ahead and try to grow some of her flowers for her wedding? And then we can kind of like, you know, that, that would be like a gift to them. And then if it doesn't work out, then she's in no worse position than she was because she wasn't planning on using a florist anyway. Anywho, um, this is what I got. She She's kind of going obviously for that fall vibe so she wanted sunflower she wanted and she also was doing like a cranberry color for the girls dresses for our dresses but this is what I was able to find so first one and probably the one I'm the most excited about is this sunflower it's called mrs. Mars and I'll go ahead and put up some pictures of it when it's in bloom and it is literally so freaking gorgeous I'm so excited about this I think it's gonna be perfect it just is like pink and cranberry and has those like deep vibes that I think she's going for so I'm really excited for th about this I hope that it works out like I hope it grows well <laughs> that's the only thing I've never grown sunflowers before so I'm hoping all of these things grow well I'm gonna stick them in the ground I'm gonna keep them watered and we're gonna see what's hap what happened the second one that I got is this big mammoth sunflower Russian mammoth I think no this one just says mammoth sunflower these get huge I don't know that I'm necessarily going to use these for her um, but I just got them because I wanted to grow some like big butt 
flowers. I'm super excited about these. Um, they get 12 feet tall. How crazy is that? 12 feet tall. That's gonna be like covering my window. I'm not mad about it though. And they'll be perfect for like cut flowers in the fall and everything or making wreaths out of or something. So I'm very excited about this. The second one that I got, or the third, I'm sorry. The third one that I got is this moonshine sunflower. Um, and this is just a stereotypical sunflower. And this is kind of what she wants in her bouquet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the ground. And then the last thing that I got was this pure white zinnia. Um, it's called Purity. And it just is so pretty. And I'm hoping that she'll be okay with that. Um, I think that they're having some white. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna grow it anyway because even if she doesn't want it, I'll go ahead and um, put this in my cut flower arrangements. And then the last thing that I got was some Dusty Miller to plant. I know this isn't a seed, so like whatever, but <laughs> this is just a bonus. I got some Dusty Miller also to put into her bouquet. I'm so excited. I hope they turn out okay. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and try to order some, some deep purple zinnias and maybe we can do that. So let's go ahead and move on to the vegetables. So I'm gonna go ahead and organize by the stuff I'm gonna be planting now and the stuff that I'm gonna be planting in August so that you guys can kind of have an idea of when things need to be planted. So, okay, let's go ahead and go with the things I'm gonna plant now. Okay, all right. Oh, so there's only a couple things I'm planting now. And actually I'm really the most excited about these. I got two varieties of pumpkins. This one I'm kind of taking a little bit of a risk with because it does take 100 days to mature so I'm really hoping that I can still get some crop out of this guy but I'm gonna do my best to get him into a pot or into the ground as soon as possible so this one is a pumpkin just a jack-o-lantern pumpkin so it's just a regular like pumpkin size so I'm definitely gonna be getting him into the ground soon and then the second one that I have this one's so cute I'm literally so excited about this I this was the last seed packet that they had and I'm just like I'm pumped. I was pumped that I was able to find this. So this is mini, what is this, mini harvest? Mini harvest blend. Look how cute it is. Oh my gosh. Some white and orange pumpkins and then orange with white speckled pumpkin. And I am so excited. These are going to be great for decorating and for like fall. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. I love fall. Fall is one of my favorite, favorite times of year. So I knew I had to get pumpkins. I wish that I had thought about this earlier, but I was just so trying to get some things into the ground. I completely just didn't think about it. And then the last thing that I'm going to be planting soon is this summer squash that I got. And it's dark, red, dark green zucchini. Oh, so it's zucchini. Why does it say squash? I guess zucchini is a squash or a squash. Is zucchini and squash different things? Are they the same thing? Anyway, either way, it's dark green zucchini, and this actually says that it's great for in a container, so I think this might be a bush variety of um, squash, and this one I also can plant right now. So these three things I'm going to be getting into the ground ASAP. The rest of these I'm going to plant in August, so here we go. First things first, I've got some chard. I got this rainbow chard right here. And then I also got this red chard right here. And I just think these are so pretty. I honestly have not eaten chard very much, but I just thought they were gorgeous. And I would love to put them in, in like cut flower arrangements and stuff in the fall. Like I think that would be really pretty. And then obviously I'm gonna try to eat it. Like, you know, I mean, might as well since I'm growing it. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Next, I am planting some of this mustard which I just thought was pretty. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna try to plant this in my front beds. Um, I think they get enough sun for them to be do okay if I plant it towards the front. But this is just red giant mustard and I just thought it was really pretty. It had really pretty purple leaves and I thought it would really complement like the fall colors and stuff like that because I'm probably going to rip out my petunias and put pansies in like normal and of course ornamental cabbage and stuff. And I just thought this would complement it really well. And then also I'll try to cook with it. That's how I'm trying to explain and like my palate is just by growing things and then like feeling bad not eating them. Okay, and then next I also got this rainbow carrots. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh. I just think they're so pretty. This is the kaleidoscope blend. Yeah, they're so cute. Includes 20% atomic red, 20% bambino orange, 20% cosmic purple, 20% lunar white, and 20% solar yellow. So that's cool. Anyway, yeah, these go into the ground in August. This other thing that I got is called summer squash, but 
look how cute it is. It looks all wrinkled. It kind of looks like a, it kind of looks like a gourd to me. Um, but I just thought also this would be it. Oh, it's the Peter Pan hybrid. I thought this was also be really cute for decorating. And then I also, of course, you know, I like squash, so I'll eat that. I'm sure you just chop it up and fry it up like you would a normal squash or bake it or roast it or whatever. And then let's see two more um foliage plants this one i got i got some dinosaur kale and i honestly only got this because um uh oh my gosh what's her name oh my goodness what is her name i can't remember so i just started following this girl that was really fun and she runs a like food production farm but she also like farms in her backyard too and I can't remember what her name is, but she was really cute and really sweet. And she did a great video on what she was planting for fall harvest. So I'll go ahead and card that video here so that you guys can check her out. And she was planting dinosaur kale. And I thought this was so cool. And she recommended it. So I thought, I was like, oh, that's what that girl was talking about. So I went ahead and picked some up. So we'll see how it goes. And I really like the color too. I think the color is really pretty. Um, and then I also got this Sylvia lettuce. It's just a red type of lettuce. And yeah, I just wanted to start growing some lettuce. So I'll probably sow this soon. Okay, and then I also got some Sugar Pod 2 Snow Peas. I don't know why they're called that, but they're from Seeds of Change Sugar 2 Snow Pods or whatever. And I got those and I thought that I love sugar snap peas and it had sugar in it and it had peas in it. So I thought this was like sugar snap peas. So correct me if I'm wrong but I think these are, why is it, this is handy annual, a handy annual. I'm pretty sure that means hardy. <laughs> this is supposed, I think this is supposed to be hardy annual, 20 to 30 inch bush, three to four inch pods. Prolific plant produces thick, succulent, juicy, edible pod snow peas. Okay, so they're snow peas. Okay, okay, a reliable bush pea. Cute, okay, great, so I'm excited. So you can do this in a 12 inch or more container. 12 inch or more, and I probably will put these in containers. Just, just to keep things simple. And then the last but not least is I picked up some cilantro. I love Mexican cuisine. I literally love it. That's 98% of what I eat is burrito bowls. So I thought this was like, why would I not grow this considering that I eat it so much? So, um, yeah, so I picked up some cilantro. Okay guys. So that's what I'm going to be planting this summer and for my fall harvest. I'm really excited about everything that I got. I'm super excited about the pumpkins. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about that. Um, so for the totals of what I spent, so I spent for total, so you guys know how much I spent. So I spent $32.94 at Lowe's, and then I spent $16 even at Home Depot. Um, but keep in mind that at Lowe's, I did buy the flowers and the Dusty Miller. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're just buying for like uh, vegetables and stuff like that, then it would be less. And obviously you don't have to buy as much as I did. I definitely overbought. I think that I probably will not have as much space as I think that I'm going to. So we'll see how everything goes, but I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that I enjoyed shopping for all of this stuff and definitely let me know in the comments what you guys are planting for this fall and for your fall harvest and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.